We continue working on our checklister project and particularly on automated testing this time. And in this video, we will finish it off, finish the tests for now with user tests. So we finished the last lesson with reordering task with Livewire admin test. And in this video, I've created three tests. The code is already written and I will explain it to you. And at the end of this video, I will finish one test where writing the test actually paid off. So while writing the test, I've noticed the bug because test failed. So that's a bit later, but now overview what I've done now. So let's close admin checklists test. And there is a user menu test. Basically, we're testing whether user can see menu in the right way. For setup, we have admin user and simple user. And then the first method, test can see empty checklist group. Remember the rule, if the admin adds the checklist group, it's not seen until it has checklists. So let's test that. Similarly to previous videos and tests, we post the request and then we act as user, we get the menu and test that the user menu is empty. That's test number one. Then test number two, test can see checklist group with checklist. In the case of checklist group and then checklist added, then we should see both checklist group and checklist itself. So expected count and expected first checklist as a name, we're checking the array, the exact value. And then also another test, another case, deleting the checklist from admin and then testing again that user menu is empty again. The next test is for checking the amount of tasks which are shown on the sidebar here. So zero out of three, zero out of four and stuff like that. So we create the checklist group, the checklist and the task, actually a few tasks. And then acting as user, we get the menu and assert that the task count is equal to two and completed task count is equal to zero. And also we try to complete the task and test again that completed tasks amount is one and not zero anymore. And then finally we get to the test that actually fails and we will get back to that at the end of this video. But basically I wanted to test if these update and new icons are loaded correctly. And here I asserted that is new and is updated should be false for new menu. But in fact, when I launch the whole test, this is the result failed asserting that true is false. And we will get to that a bit later. For now, let's comment this out, the whole method and see that our test suite should pass. And here's the list of our tests. So the things that I've gone through now is user menu test with three methods, full and fourth will be filled at the end of this video. And also I have user checklist test. Let's open that one. User checklist test has two methods. Test can load checklist page. And in here, in the setup, I do immediately this acting as and create new user with factory. So there's no admin here. It's only user logging in. We create the checklist group, checklist and task. We try to load the page. We try to test if the checklist was cloned to the user. And then we also test with Livewire that checklist tasks, the variable responsible for task list has one task as it was seated here. So that's one test and then test can complete task is also a live wire test. So I'm calling the method complete task. And then in the database, I test that user task is not null with completed add. So that's user checklist test. And finally, we have user permissions test with two methods. So for new user, I want to test if I can register and see welcome page correctly. So fake some data, post to register URL and then assert that we are redirected to welcome successfully, then test if the user actually exists with the same parameters, and then try to load welcome and assert that the status is 200, which is okay. One thing I needed to do here in the setup is to call artisan DB seed because in the seeds it's loaded the welcome page here in database seeder. There is a page seeder class, which actually loads the welcome page into the database, which then is shown. So I had to do that inside of this user permissions test. And then another test is cannot access admin menu items. So this is basically testing the user permissions. I don't work with permissions here at all. I just load the URL, log in with the user, load the URLs and see everywhere that the status is 403. And this test could be expanded to more URLs. I just decided to taste the basics. So list of checklist groups, posting, list of pages, editing the pages and list of users. And everywhere here I should 
get 403 forbidden and also the menu the admin menu for simple user should be empty so count is zero now let's get back to the user menu test and in here let's activate the code again i found a bug so i'm trying to load the menu as a user as a simple user and for some reason is new is true for simple checklist group why let's relaunch the test again with only that method so we copy the method name and do php artisan test dash dash filter equals this name and it has failed test on this line 91 so 91 is this one let's see what's inside the menu get menu and is new is set here group is new and group is updated and here i realized that we are comparing group created at with group updated at which is for the user so when the group was updated for a user with user checklist data but for new user for newly registered user they haven't even clicked any checklist so this will be null for them so we need to add a condition that user checklist may be null so group updated at max updated at could be null so group updated at should be set and then we also can compare i think we will test it out and then is updated is the same thing group is not new and group updated at is set and then we can compare something like that let's try it out relaunch our test and now it is green next i have added two more assertions with the same bug so let's see if is new and is updated is set correctly for checklist for the first checklist and as a new user i should not see those icons but it also failed this is the result asserting true is false this time on this line so we need to have the same condition in menu service in here so checklist updated at should be checked if it's not null so group is not new and we have checklist updated at at least once and also and here something like this let's relaunch our test and it should be green hopefully yeah it is green now let's test the other way around so if the new and updated icons are shown where they need to be shown and here's the code i came up with after like 30 minutes of debugging finally so i update the checklist group by updating it from admin but before that i need to load the checklist as a user to be cloned to my checklist then i sleep for two seconds kind of like update from admin comes later than user visited that and then i check that false for is new and true for is updated so that's for checklist group and then for checklist i need to kind of refresh the situation i thought to separate that to separate tests but in the end i decided to go all in on one method so i do migrate fresh for all the database then i create another checklist group and checklist then i repeat the same thing I get to the checklist of a user, then I update the checklist, not the checklist group this time, and then assert that is updated is true. And now our all PHP artisan test suite, after a few failures that I've done, it's all loading and it's loading slower in four seconds because I've put in sleep here. Maybe there's another way to simulate that, but I'm fine with sleeping two seconds and wait for like four seconds to pass all the tests to be able to simulate the real situation and test the real scenario so i think we're done for now with our automated tests and we fixed a few bugs along the way so i can give that to the client to proceed with their testing and meanwhile we will get back to creating more features and probably it will be the last final stretch final batch of videos about checklister